So we're driving to check out the new uh, Walnut Street extension. Not very long to where it ends at. We had the window open. And it's just right up, up here. So those were the old lines when they were diverting the traffic before they created this new uh, traffic light and on-ramp to Route 30 East right here, as you can see. We're just going to continue straight to the end of the new part of the extension. This was what's called part of the GOAT Road. For the reason being that um, this project had begun in the 60s, but funding dried out in the 70s. It was going to cost approximately $100 million to continue this from this point all the way out to, I believe, either Leola or New Holland. I believe it was New Holland for 11 miles. But uh, the state decided to use the money to improve the bridges. And the reason it was called the Old Goat Road <laughs> is because once the project lost the funding, um, they leased the land to the local farmers and they would let their goats uh, graze here. They seeded the, the, the road that we're on right now. So they put grass seed and stuff like that and they leased the land to uh, local farmers. So uh, this is all new right here. But this was supposed to be done, like I said, back in the 70s. Hopefully they'll continue beyond where this ending right now. And it's, like I said, it's not very far, but it's also meant to ease a little bit of the traffic up on Greenfield Road, where we're gonna head to eventually. So. And there is a trail as you, about right beside here, so so there's the uh, the traffic circle right here. That's all new, and you can see the goats. And then you're supposed to. And then we're gonna just show you where the where the parking area, <laughs> which is supposed to you know kind of do a little loop here but right now it's kind of busy because they're they're they had some kind of event here at one point and uh i'm just gonna be careful and go around here and show you so this is the new parking area for the uh trail so the trail is right off now it can, i don't know if it, if it continues down it looks like it does i just don't know how far down i'm gonna eventually walk that so this is the new like I said the, this is Ben Franklin Boulevard and then the, as you can see this is the Walnut Street and then and it leads right here down to uh, Greenfield Road so again this was meant to ease a little bit of the uh, can, some of the congestion that can occur here on Greenfield Roads at times. And off to my left is the Pennsylvania College of Health Sciences. Now I'm going to go down and show you the... That road's new too. That's new too. That's true. That's part of the... I'm going to... Actually, I'm going to continue on, see where it goes. I know it probably goes right into... Right into uh, um, the Greenfield Industrial Park here. Well, there's homes here on the... Yeah, I haven't seen this part of the road yet. But I wanted just to show you the, uh, the new extension. I think plans are to continue it down, but I got to read 
that a little bit more further because they're trying to connect many of the trails that go from here to Philadelphia. Oh, wow, this is definitely on new, new housing. Now that we're it's getting, getting a little warmer here. Oh, wow. Ford Drive. Oh, wow, what's this? Oh, it's Thaddeus. Wow. This is the Transportation Center. Oh, I didn't know they had a Transportation Center. Now, what type of Transportation Center is that? It looks oh. like all types. Oh, I think I know what that's going to be. Oh, okay. This is where it goes. That's where the they'll be doing like, um, like the body shop and all that stuff, as well. As automotive, automotive uh, technology and stuff yeah. like that. So what road is this? What's that Willow. road? Okay. So we're back on Willow Road. Okay. Where does that go? Huh? I don't know. <laughs> Let's see where it goes. Yeah, I know. I'm the one that went beyond the line there. So we are, I think, I believe on 40 Road, it is, right here. And um, as you can see right up ahead there, that's part of the Goat Road. And I'm going to slowly pan you over here and there's the continuation of the goat road which is where the uh, Walnut Street extension will, co would, will continue at some point not sure when exactly they're gonna if they're gonna continue it up this way when they get more funding it'll continue down to I believe as far as New Holland, I believe to either 772, I believe, or beyond that, somewhere at least to 772 here in Lancaster to relieve um, Route 23. Well, this was gonna be the I don't know if they called it the route uh, Route 23 or just an uh, alternate, the alternate 23 here. And it, um, there is a plan in place. I used to have it on my phone, but I removed it. I'm going to look back for it because, like I said, they were going. They want to do some kind of trail system as, as well as this roadway, you know, for bike uh, uh, biking purposes and stuff like that. So I'm just showing you here where we're at here and the continuation of what's known as the goat road now like i said they had begun this back in the 60s and then by the 70s they ran out of funding and the state one diverted the uh, money toward uh the rehabilitation of bridges that were in uh, desperate need of repair So I'm standing here on Forey Road, I believe, where I'm at. And uh, as you can see right behind me, there is the uh, Goat Road here. What's known as the Goat Road. This was the alternate route for Route 23, I believe, which now is to, would be that way. <laughs> but um, if... You saw my previous uh, segment. We were coming down the new part of the Walnut Street ex extension, and we came down to a certain part of the road and then found this other road that brought us right here to where I'm at now. And like I said, as you can see, th there's uh, the, the goat road now. Hopefully, they'll continue this down either to Leola or New Holland, as it was proposed. Um, Supposedly, back in the seven, well, according to what, what I saw online, they had originally done the first five miles 
going from from uh, Route 30, where the extension is at now, the new extension part at that we saw earlier, uh, all the way down to a Leola, far Leola. That's how far they got with this part of the road, and uh, they ran out of funding. And the funding that they were able to get, the state decided to divert it to uh, rehabilitate or make new bridges that were in desperate need of repair. Because from what I read online, they said that the project was going to cost $100 million to continue doing the remaining, what is it, six miles? Or the full, actually the full 11 miles was going to cost $100 million at the time. And they felt it would be of better use to use it for bridges that were desperately needing repair. So we are now on Route 772 here, I believe, in Leola. And this is Newport Road on Route 772. So if, as you can see behind me, not actually there, I'm pointing the right way. This is a continuation from where we were just out, I believe on Forey Road, which is not too far down the road up that way. And as you can see behind me, this is the the least land. The road would turn turn up that way, where that if you could see the horse down that way. The the, the road would turn up that way toward uh, where we were just at on the last segment. And I'm going to spin you around that in my vehicle. And then right behind me here on the other side of the road is uh, where it would head on to New Holland. I believe that's where it's supposed to. Now, where it would end in New Holland, I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm going to look for that information for that project that they want to continue down here and connect a lot of these uh uh, trails, bike trails and stuff like that and connected to f other trails that had to take you down to Philly. They want to do these in in interconnecting trails for, for bike riding as, uh, as well. Um, so uh, I'll get that information for you if I can find it. Um, I think the city of Lancaster uh, and or the county, one of them too, has that proposed project where you can find it online, and I'll link it if I do find it online. Sorry, I was, there was something right below me. And a lot of the uh, land that you can see is leased to a lot of the Amish farmers. One thing I read, one of the reasons um, there was a lot of pushback for this road to be built back in the 60s because uh, it encroached on a lot of farmland. So there was a lot of... Uh, pushed back by the community here, especially the Amish community, whose farmland they would have taken probably by eminent domain to uh, acquire the land because it's the federal government or state government, but they, because they received federal funding for this, it would have been taken by eminent domain. So uh, they protested a lot for this reason, for this, uh, for this um, project to not proceed so instead they came to an agreement and started leasing the land but if this project goes forward we'll see what happens and I'll keep you updated on this project as it expands or not expands so I'm going to turn you around <laughs> So I'm walking here on the side of the road here. And as you can see, it has a concrete divider and two lanes on both sides here. But then it go, it's just right here because this would have been, uh, I believe they were calling it the Leola Interchange right here. According to the information that I found online, as well as on Wikipedia, which I will link 
in the description. So if you can notice over there, these would have been the, uh, that would have been right there in front of me. That would be the exit ramp from the uh, goat trail. I'm not sure where it goes down. It goes down this one road down here to that property over there. Uh, but there is no trespassing, so I can't take you down there. It's gated off as well. Um, and over here would be the uh, exit an entrance ramp right here off of 772 here on uh, Newport Road. As you can see, there's the uh, divider to bring you on and probably off as well. This would have probably, this guy right here where I'm walking on, this part where I'm walking on would have probably been the, uh, the exit ramp as it came off and would have probably done like a clover leaf, as they call it. So we are not going to go because it's fenced off as well here. So it ends right about right here. As you can see, this is where the concrete pad was ends, shall we say. And I'm sorry to see some trash here. So I'm sure the under, uh, under the underpass right there, it would have came and looped around right here. And then... It would have came on and off right here. So it would have been the off ramp and then the on ramp over here to the alternate 23, I believe. It's, it would have been called. Originally, it was 230, I believe. It was the original route number. It's what I read online on this portion. And then over there in Lancaster, as it continues as Route 23, it would have been the part of the old 340, and then it was com it redesignated to uh, Route 23. And again, like I said, uh, there's the uh, so I think this is probably just I think this just would have been an on ramp right here. It looks like to uh, probably it would have been both. On and off ramp right here. However, it is that they, the Department of Transportation does it. I'm sure it would have done the same thing over there. And like I said, there is uh, a road that goes underneath it already. So that probably could have been the the, the new on ramp to get on to uh, I guess it would be eastbound. Yeah, no westbound. Sorry, that I think that road would have come underneath here and would have taken you westbound that way toward Lancaster. And then somebody has some, looks like sheds here. So there's some sheds right here. So, okay, yeah, you can see that that road that I was just showing you on the other side would come underneath here, right here. So it probably, I don't think it would have gone, it probably would have like, probably would have looped around over to the uh, entrance exit right here onto 772. But they did a temporary probably staging area, I'm sure, while they were doing the construction. 
as you can see there's stuff there's the road right below me but I, we can't access it because to get on it you'll be trespassing on their property here so there's the road right below me but i don't think that would have been the final road as it would have continued up this way like i said toward where i'm gonna zoom in that horse is at right now sorry for the shakiness because of the zooming in with this phone so right about where that horse is right there yeah right where that horse is at sorry is where the goat road is now would have continued and then I'm sure it would have done like a loop around by these trees. Let me zoom you out again slowly. If Polly would have looped around by these trees right here and came on here. So the on-ramp and off-ramp would have came here if you're getting off to come on to 272. Um, I, I'm not North and South? Mm -hmm. 770, sorry, 772. I think this runs north and south. So here's the new underpass for the extension right here. Make a left right here. Welcome to Flowering Spring Farm. Okay, that's Oh, wait. So there's the, the trail, the new trail that comes down. That really messed with my head. So this is, yeah, this is Mill Cross Road. Okay, so now we're back on the road that's taking us to Greenfield. Right. Yo, they just left a grill out there? Yeah. You want yep. to go kidnap Their the property is right there. <laughs> so now we are going to go back on to Greenfield Road. I think they would have can, you know, made an extension to over on to Ben Franklin from there. And oh my lord, Dad! <laughs> Greasing them tires. <laughs> Wasn't trying to. Uh, oh, got a red light now. It's so weird now to be able to do this. So now we're going. Give you that view from right here, from coming off of Ben Franklin onto the Walnut Street extension here. Okay, they're gone now. Oh, cool! Now we can go around, round. <laughs> now we're gonna go back into the parking lot because <laughs> the as as you saw earlier, there was. Some people with a tent, so now, as you can see, there's a trail. Oh, it ends right here, okay. So it ends right here. But that trail right there, they, that's off to Dad, the... Yeah, I know. See this trail. That trail, that walking trail, is going to continue extending at some point up the, the goat trail. And we are going to do a walking tour of that. Oh, they got porta potties. Oh, they even got a fountain thingy. Oh, no, that's not a, a hand wash. So now we came around the roundabout here. Well, now now we're going around the roundabout. The roundabout in the roundabout. The parking trail parking. I know what I didn't get. A picture. Of Father, the, the goat. you should have done that in there. Yeah, I know. Of the goat. So we don't currently have this one in stock. 
Okay, there's cameras. We actually need to go. I know. Alright, car coming. I know. Oh, there was a lot of wild raspberry right there. How is it? Yeah, there's like bushes and bushes. You gotta come and pick them. Yeah. So I wonder if they're raspberry or wine berries, because I found out. No, they're actually raspberries. Oh, I was look looking similar. at the... See, there's a walking person already walking on the walking trail. Cool. We probably that's, live not, that's not a bad little walk here. Yeah, we, yeah, we just were, right, went right underneath this bridge just now. Okay, it goes that way. There's also a trail on this side from underneath the bridge, uh, which leads to something. Uh, Is there? I didn't see nothing. There was. An official was one. one. The trail goes up behind this housing complex to my left. See, look, there, right there's the trail. Oh no, that's that's for the uh, that's the golf course there. But oh. that is a public golf course, so okay, it goes up that way, up that hill up there. That's what I want to know, where it goes from there. Because over there, there's like a little um, there's something to connect it to. Somewhere. There's a little cul-de-sac there. Remember the no outlet area, the houses, mm -hmm. right under the bridge to before the park and all that. Yeah, that's weird now. You have to wait <laughs> with this new light system they have. Yeah. Oh, I wonder what they're doing. Hopefully they're not broke down. He's jumping into somewhere. Maybe the river or something? No, over the fence. Maybe gotta use the bathroom. A lot of people do that. They go, I'm oh, gonna use the bathroom. No, Dad. No one climbs over this fence into a pedestrian area, housing area, which you're not allowed to climb over those fence. Oh, wow. Did you get Watch it be on the news that the house got robbed over there and I could have stopped it if I called the cops <laughs> Maybe. so we're gonna continue going down the Walnut Street extension this is also part of the extension as well to get on to the Route 30 bypass as a uh, I was, as it was known, heading back into uh, Lancaster. But then I want to go somewhere else really quick and check something out. <laughs> 